Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've had a great week so far. Certainly from my perspective, it has been the hottest day of the year for us here in Scotland. Um, certainly I live in the central Scotland area and uh, I think at one point my car was reading 26.5 degrees C, which um, Unfortunately, in this country, we don't have any air conditioning. Um, we don't generally have much of a wardrobe to deal with, um, sort of hot weather as such. And um, I think it's just a different heat. You know, when you're at work and um, you know you're wearing formal sort of work wear and things, it's just not that fun. Um, but it was quite nice getting out tonight for a nice, lovely walk in the sort of slightly cooler weather. Um, once the sun started to set a little bit, and um, I am so glad that I am a couple of stone lighter than I was a few months ago, otherwise I genuinely do think I would have really, really struggled at work today, as in actually functioning as a person at work. Um, so yeah, I'm just glad that I've been able to make such a big change to my weight and I'm already seeing the benefits from that, so um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Um, a little bit of an unexpected heat wave as such um, at this time of the year, it's currently the 8th. Um, of September, yeah, but the 8th of September. Um, you'd think I'd know the date because I've written it all day long, but anyway, um, it's not something I'd ever expect it to be at this time of the year in regards to the weather, the temperature, etc. But I'm not complaining, I'm going to enjoy it. So, certainly, with regards to my Slim World journey so far, um, for any of you that follow or haven't followed the page um, or subscribed to the page before, this is currently what the back page of my book looks like. Um, it's pretty full now. I might be able to fit on another maybe one or maybe two or three depending if I use up the sort of top section here for my awards. Now up to date I am currently two and a half stone down and I started my summer world journey on the 25th of May um, so this weigh in this week was, I always get so, so confused I'm just going to count um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this week was weigh in 14 and um, technically 15 weeks if you like because I joined on the 25th of May but my actual first weigh in if you like after following Summer World was the 1st of June. Um, so in that time as I said I've lost two and a half stone as in getting my award but as of last night, I am now two stone nine pounds down. So I am really, really happy with that. Um, only got five pounds to lose until I reach my three stone award, which I really want to do by the end of this month. Um, for anyone that's been following the channel over the last wee while, you will know that my birthday is the end of this month. It's the 25th of September. And if I can reach the three stone mark by then, even that's even better. But I'm going to give myself to the end of the month, as in the 30th of September, to lose three stone, which is what I really, really want to achieve. Um, a few people at work have been really inspired by my sort of weight loss so far and my, I suppose, dedication and willpower. Um, but for me personally, I don't feel it's a big, a big um, hassle. It's not a challenge for me as such. I'm enjoying the food that I am enjoying. I like a huge variety of food and I like to make, make it interesting. I don't like eating the same thing all of the time. But at the same time, I also don't want to spend a lot of money um, trying to eat better because that's not going to help me stick to it either and it needs to be balanced. Um, and certainly, you know, with regards to um, what I've been doing so far, two of my colleagues, actually three of my colleagues have been inspired to start healthier eating and two of my colleagues out of that three have said to me that they're going to join some world so I think that's pretty good going um, in such a short time I've been able to inspire people like that at work um, and that wasn't really my really wasn't my goal as such if you like but I'm really happy that I've been able to inspire people at work and obviously encourage yourselves at home as well to maintain what it is that you're doing and to be mindful of the reasons why you're doing what you're doing um, and I think you know for anyone who's lost weight or gained weight or whatever it is that you need to do to be your healthiest and at your sort of optimum sort of health um, status if you like 
um, you, you need to be in the, the right mindset. So um, that is a huge thing for a lot of people, it certainly is for me. But when I joined Summer World back in May, I had actually been working from home that day and something just clicked in my head and I said, I'm going tonight, I'm joining tonight. I am going, I'm definitely going. And I'm so glad I did because clearly at that point my mind was made up and I'd made a decision and I stuck to the decision. And I'm not sure whether that is one of the one of the reasons that I've been able to you know succeed with Summer World so well is because I was truly ready to join. And I don't think many of us can say that we're ever truly ready for anything that happens in life. Um, whether it's moving house, you know, moving job, getting married, having a child, having a baby. All these things are huge, huge, huge decisions, but actually the decision to make your life healthier is also a very, very significant one. I don't think it's one that we should play down. Um, I think the word diet and losing weight is something that unfortunately um, people of sort of my age group, so I'm about to turn 32, um, so my age group and above and probably a bit below as well are probably pretty used to the whole diet um, mantra of all of these diets like the special K diet where all you would eat would be cereal, um, the slim fast diet which is just shakes and snacks and things and you yeah, still have a main meal at night. But the be all and end all of it is that you shouldn't need to restrict your food and I think that is what works well for me on Summer World is that I can enjoy the food that I love and I don't feel bad about eating any of it, I don't feel guilty, I don't have to worry about it and it's made me realise how to work myself into eating in moderation and that's something that is a complete life skill that many of us who have struggled with our weights just do not have but I'm getting better every day and I think you know over three months in now um, I've stuck to it really, really, really well. Um, so that's a huge um, testament to the support that you guys have been able to give me at home. And as I mentioned in a previous video, my non-scale victories are just as, just as significant as the, the weight loss on the scale. Um, as we all know, the weight loss on a scale is only one form of measurement. You have weight loss in your clothing, you have facial feature changes, so, which a few people have commented on this week to me. A few people at work have said, oh my, my makeup's really nice today, or I look really nice today. And yet, yeah, I'll completely take that compliment because a few years ago I wouldn't have taken that compliment at all. But now I'm saying, oh thank you, that's lovely. Thank you so much, that's really nice. And that's a change for me as well because I would have been really embarrassed, I would have went really red and I would have thought, no, no, they are making it up, they are lying, they're not telling the truth and I would look like a fool if I believed them. Thankfully my mindset has changed and um, I think the only thing that I've done differently is lose weight. I don't wear anything different to work than what I'm wearing right now. So it's literally foundation, a little bit of concealer, bronzer, blusher and mascara. That is it. I'm not a big makeup person as it is, so I know for a fact if someone's thinking my makeup looks nicer or, or, or good, then it's related to my weight loss, which is also a little boost as well. All of this week, as of Monday this week, I have been wearing some of my old sort of uh, workwear, so formal sort of business attire, trousers, heels, nice tops, blazers, sort of suits and things, and genuinely, that is so empowering and it has definitely made me feel a lot more confident in myself at work, it's made me feel a lot more confident as a person when I leave the house in the morning to get into my car and I think it just changes your whole, <coughs> excuse me, your whole sort of perception of yourself as well and how you hold yourself as a person and that's incredibly, incredibly important for every aspect of your life. Um, yeah, I think we underestimate all of these things when we go to aim to lose weight we actually gain so much more by losing weight than what we would have if we didn't join. And I think that's a huge, um, you know, sort of building block, I suppose, to maintaining weight losses and continuing to progress with whatever goal, that, whatever goal it is that you think you have or whatever goal it is that you're working towards. Um, so, as I mentioned in a previous video as well, um, sorry to refer to previous videos, if you haven't watched them please feel free to do so and if you're not already a subscriber please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and video and if you feel it would be useful to yourself or your family or your friends. Um, again, I'm really welcome to any comments or emails or 
you know, anything at all, if I can help in any way, shape or form, then I will. Um, but certainly one of my main aims this weekend would be to make some soup. And so I will do a video with regards to that. Um, if you like mushroom soup, then please feel free to tune in to watch that video. And if you're not too keen on mushroom soup, please just tune in anyway. Um, I would be really happy to um, you know, hear from yourselves. And if you have any lovely soup recipes, then also I would really appreciate if you can send them over my way. I'm aware the weather's a bit nicer at the moment, but I'm also aware that the weather could change like that overnight. It is Scotland we live in after all, and um, I know that this lovely weather will not last for long. It is autumn, um, coming up very, very soon, and uh, all of the trees are falling out the, of, the, of the branches outside my house, so I know that time is coming where the seasons are definitely, definitely changing. Um, but with regards to soups, you can get lots of your speed foods in there like mushrooms, onions, um, you know, carrots, whatever it is that you want to put in your soup. Um, but as I said, certainly this one this weekend will be a mushroom one, which is a recipe I was given by uh, another Southern World member at group and um, everyone said how good it is, so I have to give it a try. So um, as I said earlier, you know, it's a huge testament to yourselves at home who have helped me on my journey so far. I wouldn't have gotten to a loss of two stone nine without all of you guys helping me and supporting me so far. And I hope you will stay around for the rest of my journey, which will be a reasonably long one, but one that I hope that you will continue to enjoy seeing and watching as the time goes on. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your lovely, lovely support and I hope you have a lovely weekend. So please take care and I shall catch you on the next one. Thank you, bye.